Uh, I'm James Kettle, uh, Albino Wax on Twitter, and I'm from England. <music> Exhilaration, adrenaline, yeah, nothing else like it. I remember one time I woke up in the middle of the night and I just knew there was this bugging Google, like I had the information and I just put it together in the middle of the night and woke up and submitted the bug and then went back to sleep. So happy. <laughs> I was at university and I had tons of spare time and I got, I had so much spare time I got bored of playing Counter-Strike and I was like, okay, to entertain myself I'm going to try and hack some things and Google had just said, you know, anyone can try and hack us and we'll pay them. So I, yeah, I spent many, many hours on that. Because it's one of the biggest bug bounty platforms and it's got uh, lots of nice cap capabilities for people who, who want to handle their own program and have the, have the relevant now skills to handle that stuff. Uh, and the scripting cap capabilities within it are also really nice. The CTF was really cool. Uh, I, I just saw a, a tweet about it online and thought, you know, oh, the CTF is probably so unrealistic. And then I took a look and I was like, this isn't a default Apache page. This is like something I encounter every day. This is, uh, and I, I, I was like, how, how, how is it possible to have this? And it just got sucked in by that, really. The highlight of, of doing that for me was definitely when I found the accidental bypass that Yoba didn't intend. <laughs> It's a sort of a group hacking challenge thing where a bunch of hackers get invited to one location with a fixed target and then just, just try and break it. The sense of community, and you know, everyone's friendly, they're sharing information with each other. I was a little bit concerned that everyone was just going to be keeping themselves to themselves because they, they don't want to leak, leak anything and so on, but people were pretty friendly actually. I never really expected to end up in a room hacking with the US Air Force, uh, not with people in combats in the room at the same time. <laughs> a t-shirt from Google that they sent me unexpectedly, just for Christmas randomly, uh, that said bug bounty robot or something like that on it and it was it was it was good. I I, I only wear it on special occasions because I don't want to wear it out. Uh, I bought my current computer with bug bounty money using Bitcoin which um, I'm pretty pleased with. I, I absolutely love working on Burp Suite precisely because so many people use it. So just seeing when I uh, have an idea for a scanning technique and then I put it in the scanner and then a couple of months later I'll see publicly disclosed reports on Hacker One that were clearly found by Burp and that's the best feeling. Like knowing that I can take a class of bug that's currently, that's largely overlooked and just kind of stomp on it is like, is awesome. The other best thing is the support from the community, like everyone's so enthusiastic about it and that's a really good feeling.